from the Desert Swarm defense. Bum rushes Donnie Davis, gets the sack. The ball is ruled dead. Brewski's 39th sack in his last 38 games. But Zona's defense would have trouble on the night. First quarter, Tech driving, tailback C.J. Williams right up the gap. Check out the flip into the end zone. But Tech is called for holding. They will have to settle for a field goal. C.J. wouldn't be denied. Didn't get that one. He will get this one up the middle, 36 yards. Williams, a converted defensive back, becomes the first running back in 35 games to rush for over 100 yards versus Arizona. 9-7 Tech in the third. Wildcat quarterback Dan White gets blitzed, hurries the pass, and gets picked up by Ryan Stewart. Ryan goes 41 yards the other way. Nice move. Pater, 16-7 Yellow Jackets. Just over six minutes left, though. White finds wide receiver Richard Dice open on the sideline. Dice is gone. Tex lead cut to 16 to 14. Can we smell a comeback on Tech's next possession? Punter Keith Weaver's punt blocked by linebacker Armand Williams. They recover on the four yard line. Georgia Tech coach George O'Leary sees his team's lead evaporate with the ball on the one foot line. Dan White says, why not? Why not indeed? Takes it in himself. Wildcats go bananas. Arizona leads 20 to 19. Tech two minutes left. One last shot, Donnie Davis finds Cedric Zachary on the sideline, but cornerback Rashi Johnson strips it from Zachary's hand. Dejection. Tech loses a 12-point lead in the fourth quarter. Arizona takes it 20-19. They improve to 2-0. Tech had a 19-7 lead with eight minutes left. Second straight year that Arizona has used a fourth-quarter comeback to beat Georgia Tech. Dan White, 15-26, 206 yards, a couple of touchdowns. Elsewhere, Cal taking the night off to watch 20th-ranked Virginia Tech host BC. Second quarter, Hokies driving. Fullback Brian Edmonds, only 55 carries last year. <coughs> Coughs them all up. Recovered by Terrence Wiggins. Wiggins looking like a running back. 58 yards to the Hokie 24 before that monkey jumps on his back and he gets walked down. That would set up another BC touchdown. They led 14 zips. Still in the second, same score. Hokie quarterback Jim Druckenmiller finds Brian still. Check out the move. He turned cornerback Daryl Porter all the way around. See ya. Wouldn't want to be you. 80 yards for the score. Hokies down 14 to 7. Second half, still 14 7. BC Eagles quarterback Mark Hartzell with a radar lock in the corner with Steve Everson. Watch the grab. Great concentration. Drags the foot. Everson out at the three-yard line. Very next play, Mark Hartzell is going to nail sophomore tight end Michael Hemmert for the touchdown. Nice soft touch. BC would miss the extra point. They lead 20 to 7. Hokies would get a shot. 21 seconds, down 20 to 14. Fourth down, Druckenmiller's pass deflected, sailing incomplete. Tech coach Frank Beamer, bleep! Boston College hangs on to win it 20 to 14. The Eagles rebound from the season opening loss to Ohio State. Mark Hartzell.